Well, we're starting to get into the running now here as we look at 170, event number 173, Montgomery Blair of Maryland, Union of New Jersey, Bullis of Maryland. Again, another familiar name. They've got a 309 school record. That was back in 2019. Ryan Willie, now an All-American and 4x4 national champion for the Gators of Florida, ran on that team. But Bullis has run 317 this year. Keep an eye on them. Calabar, of course, another quality name that we are so uh, used to hearing and seeing. They've all started in the 4x4 final a chance. They will have some revenge on their mind. Camper down of Jamaica there as well. Nansamond River, Virginia. Tasha's Golding of Jamaica. Wilmer's Boys School of Jamaica. Collierville, Tennessee. Ocean Township of New Jersey and Oakland Mills of Maryland. This should be a hot one. As we talked about, Trevor, at the beginning of this meet, it's always great to see the international athletes compete against each other. Calabar is definitely the big name here. However, with Bullis School, they're looking quite fantastic. That was Julian Robertson with the first leg, handing off now to Alex Lambert. And Alex doing a great job of trying to get in front of Calabar. And on this anchor leg for the Bullis School, it's going to be Quincy Wilson, who is the phenom freshman, as we like to call him. He just set the indoor class record, 46 seconds, and also won New Bounds National Indoor. So they're going to have an amazing anchor leg here. Look at Bullis and Calabar going at it. Calabar now takes over. Calabar, we've seen them so many times here at the Penn Relays and the Jamaican High School champs. They fall started earlier this year out of the finals in the Open 4x4. They will not be happy with that. They will hand off first, 138 with two to go. Bullis is going to have some work to do. 49-11 on that carry for Calabar. Bullis 50-24, just a tick behind. I'm not counting Bullis out of it just yet. Calabar looks very comfortable right now out in front. Running for the Bullis School is Ethan Long. Trying to do his best to still stay within striking distance. Calabar has full control of this race up until this point. Calabar in the distinct green. And you see the lively Jamaican fans starting to make their presence known. This is the energy you feel here at the Penn Relays. 227 at the bell. You can feel the energy already inside Franklin Field just amping up a little bit more. Calabar doing a great job. And as I mentioned, Quincy Wilson is on this anchor leg and he is closing this gap. You can already hear the fans getting loud. But the question is, how is Calabar going to respond to Quincy going by him? Look at Bullis in the purple. Confident move. And Calabar has no answer. No answer whatsoever. This Bullis. is all Quincy Wilson. Quincy Wilson of Bullis. Into the final stretch. The fans on their feet. What an anchor leg. We will keep an eye on the clock. This Look is going to be this magnificent time. final leg. And the appreciation from the crowd is palpable. 3-14-12 for the Bullis School in a prelim. In a prelim. 45-06. 45-06. Quincy Wilson is that guy. What do you say to that? He's a New Bounds National Indoor Champion. Like, it's just, this kid is fantastic. Look at that. And they he, were 